Assalamualaikum and good morning to all of you. So uh, for today, we will continue with our lecture on A-star algorithm. So A-star algorithm is a type of algorithm which uh, is where the search is being conducted by using a heuristic. So it is a member of heuristic uh, search. So this is in contrast with uh, blind search where every node are being searched. So in a star algorithm, the node are evaluated by actual cost and the heuristic estimate. So if you look here, this is the formula of uh, a star algorithm. So Fn is the total cost or the heuristic function while gn is the actual cost and hn is the heuristic estimate so gn measure the actual length or actual cost from pass from any state to the start state so if you want to traverse from one state to another state or one node from another node gn will denote the actual cost or the actual length while Hn will denote the heuristic estimate or the estimate uh, for, uh, cost from one node to another node. So, uh, A star algorithm is better than best first search. Because in best first search, you only would take account into the actual cost. While the A star algorithm will take account into both actual cost and the heuristic estimate. So, uh, therefore, it is said that a star algorithm is almost always will provide the best possible uh, pass from one uh, state to another state, from the start state to the goal state. So, this is why uh, all a star solution or almost all a star uh, solution are said to be admissible because it will almost always find the shortest path from one place to another place or the path that uses the less cost. Okay, here are the relationship between uh, uh, heuristic search and blind uh, search. So, uh, in blind search, you have depth first search and breast first search. So, this one is an error. So, supposedly, this is uh, the same category as uh, heuristic search. So, in under blind search, you have depth first search and breast first search. So, blind search is called a blind search because it blindly search every node to find the goal. So, it does not use any information whatsoever in order to find a goal. It will search uh, every node until it found the node that contain the goal. So another word for blind search is brute force. So it uh, just uh, brute forcing, uh, searching from one node to another node. While heuristic search will use a heuristic function or will use additional information to do a guesstimate, okay, an estimation on which node that it should search first and which node it would... Uh, search uh, after that okay afterwards it will assign a weight uh, to each of every node that should be searched first so we have already learned about best first search where every node are being assigned the cost or the weight so in best first search the node that have the least weight will be evaluated first Compared to the node that has a higher uh, weight, uh, higher weight, okay, higher number of weight. But in a star algorithm, we are given the heuristic function. So if you look into the heuristic function of uh, a star algorithm, 
So you will be uh, given this uh, heuristic uh, function. So the heuristic function of A star algorithm is F N. Okay, equals to G N plus F N. So uh, if uh, you want to travel to node B, for example, okay, traveling to node B uh, will then uh, incur cos S F B equal G B plus H B. So this is uh, H. So uh, and then so on. If you want to travel to node C, you put here as uh, a function. You replace N with C. Okay, will become F C. Okay, G C plus H. C. Okay. So this is uh, where G is the actual cost. Okay, G. Okay, where G N is the actual cost. And H N is the heuristic estimate. Okay, usually it is represented in the table. So let's look at the terms. Associated with A star algorithm. Admissibility is when uh, the search algorithm is guaranteed to find the minimal path or the shortest path to the goal. So in A star, it is almost always uh, the, uh, the algorithm will find the shortest path. So in almost any case, A star algorithm is always admissible. Okay, when compared to blind search. So, susah sangat lah nak cari uh, A-star algorithm di mana pas dia yang dia tak dapat jumpa yang paling minimum compared to uh, blind search. So, in blind search, we learn about depth and breadth for search. And both uh, depth and breadth for search are not guaranteed to find the minimum cost. It will brute force its way to find the goal. Okay, second term is informedness. So, in informedness, it will find two heuristics. So, if one heuristic is always shorter than another heuristic for all states in, in the search space, then it is said that the first heuristic is more informed than, than the second heuristic. So, we will look at this term of informedness in further episode eh? in further video and then monotonicity so a heuristic function of h is said to be monotonic if for all node state where one node is a descendant of one uh, heuristic function which is almost always uh, which is always the cost uh, is lower than the actual cost then it is said that the heuristic function is monotone. Uh, is monotone. Okay, is monotone. And then the goal state also must be zero. Okay, secondly, the heuristic evaluation of the goal state must also be zero. Uh, so kebiasaannya bila kita lihat nanti dan contoh goal state heuristic ni selalunya akan jadi zero. Right, we look into this uh, example as provided in the book. So, recall back in the first video in the topic 1, where you have to draw the state space search uh, for a graph. So, if you rewind back, so if you rewind back uh, at the, uh, at the, uh, very first uh, topic, okay, very first uh, exercise for this topic, you will see that uh, I've already shown you how to draw a state space graph. 
So this is the way we draw the state space graph. So you can rewatch back the video if you have already forgotten. So in state space graph, you see that to travel to city Z, you have to first to pass through city Y, M or X. So that's why the state space are being drawn like this. From A to Z, you have to go to either Y, M and X. So A, Y, M or X. And then if you have already gone to Y, then you have further two choice. <coughs> either you go to Z or you go to M. So if you travel to Y, then you have two further choice. Y and M. And if you travel to M, you have further four choice. So either you travel to Y, Z, S, X and G. You can never go back to city A because that will introduce infinite loop. And then so on, if you go to city X, you have two further choice. M and G. So M and G. And so on. You could never go back to city A. So let's look back at uh, page 17. So this solution is similar. Okay, only in this time, you use a star algorithm to find the minimum pass from A to D. So I try to highlight this. I will try to highlight uh, okay, this statement. Okay, you need to find the minimum pass from A to D. So you have to draw the state space graph. In order to get to D, you have to go to B to C, to E, or to F. So A, to B, to C, to E, and to F. So uh, which of the paths that you have to take first? But uh, in contrast to the first uh, example, uh, okay, from the introduction, this time you will use the cost. So, you will not explore the node under which if the node cost is higher than uh, the other node. So, you will only explore uh, the node further if the node uh, cost is lower. So, uh, if you look here at the example, okay, because B have the lowest cost, then you will decide to explore B, okay. Uh, all the node under B. So C, E and F, dia takkan explore lah. So dia akan kira, tengok tinggi, dia akan bandingkan yang mana paling rendah, dia akan pergi pada node yang paling rendah. So, uh, for this, okay, for today, I will show you how to calculate. Sekarang ni kalau kita tengok contoh, mungkin tak faham. So in the final examination and the assignment, Okay, the assignment will have to force you to calculate uh, A star algorithm. So, in order to do your assignment, you need to understand how to calculate A star. So, in order to understand A star, you need to understand how to calculate the cost. So, for today, I will show you how to calculate the cost. Okay, please stand by. So, I will um, copy and paste this into my uh, workspace. And then, I'm going to show you how to calculate. Okay, the minimum cost and further to answer or to tackle the question that is related to a star. So, if you notice, A star algorithm is almost always will be asked in the final assessment. Dia soalan wajib ditanya semasa soalan final examination. So, let's look on how to calculate A star. Okay, you see here. Okay, if you refer to your notes. Okay, you see A, from A you have to go to B. So, 1.5, this is the actual length or the actual cost. And then HN table over here denotes the 
heuristic. So if you look at the formula, you have Fn equals Gn plus Hn. So Hn is provided in the table. While Hn is provided on the graph. Usually is provided on the graph. But depending on the type of the question, sometimes Gn is only provided in the text. But I will show you how to do basic A star algorithm where you can trace the cost on the graph. So let's say traveling to B. Okay, traveling to B. Okay. From A, you can go to B, C, E, and F. So you have to calculate F on every node to travel to B. So I will show you how to travel to B and calculate it. So traveling to B, you have to type it here, FB equals to GB plus HB. So GB is 1.5 and HB is 1.7. So this is how you get the answer. Right, so it would equal to 3.2. And then you calculate further. Travel to C. So when you travel to C, you have to calculate uh, the formula like this. Okay, H. C equals... 1.6 plus 1.7. So 3.3. So if you look back at the book, uh, it will be consistent. And then you calculate travel to E. Right? Travel to E. So how you travel to E are uh, similar. Okay, HE, say so you look here, HE is 1.1. .1. So, GE is, you look here, okay, GE is the cost from A to E, 2.5 plus 1.1. .1. So, you get 3.6. And then you further calculate to A to F. One point And then 1.9 plus 2.3. So you get 4.2. So uh, which of these are the lowest? So of course the book already tell you B. So I'm going to show you how. Okay. How to calculate. So B is selected. Alright. Then B is selected. And uh, that is shown you that you are now in B. Okay, you are now have travel to B. Okay, let's continue. Now you are already in B. So this is selected. So in B, we have already selected B. So let's say we have already traveled to B. So now from B, okay, okay now from B, okay I write this note so that uh, easy for you to follow. Okay from B you can travel to C or to D, 
right? To C or to D. So let's say that uh, you travel to to C first, okay? Always travel from the left first, okay? When traveling to C, okay, you have to take account into the cost. So, macam biasa, the formula is Fn equals Gn plus Hn. So, the actual cost to travel to C is, you have already traveled from A to B and then B to C. So, this is the actual cost. A to B and then B to C. Right? 1.5 plus 0.8. Sebab kita dah jalan dah kat sini. Okay, you have already moved from 1 to 5, uh, 1.5, from A to B, and then B to C. And then plus heuristic. Okay, the heuristic to C. Okay, like this. So, the heuristic to C is 1.7. So, you get here, what you get here is 2.3, right? 2.3 plus 1.7. So, 4.0 or 4. And then next, uh, you have to calculate uh, travel to B. So, same goes. Okay, Fn equals Gn plus Hn, where... It is said that traveling to D costs 1.5 plus 1.8. Okay, plus HD. So, you travel from here to here. So, to draw, okay, I try to draw it. So, you travel it from here to here. Okay, travel. Right, travel from here to here. So, what we get here is 3.3. Okay, dia tambah 1. Okay, plus. How much is HD? HD is 0. So, HD is 0. So, we get 3.3. .3. So, which uh, of these is the lowest cost? Okay, of course, you get B. So, this one is selected. Okay, final answer is that Okay, the path taken, the shortest path taken, according to A star algorithm is, right, is A, B, and D. So, you travel it from A to B over here selected and then you select here D. So A, B, D is proven to be the shortest path. A, B, D. Dia tak follow A, C, D, A, E, D or E, A, F, E, D. So it will fo only follow A, B and D. So this is the same, almost the same algorithm or the basis of the algorithm that is used in the path finding. Okay, path finding application such as in games and in your GPS uh, navigation application. So, A star form the basis of intelligent path finding application because it is almost always guaranteed to find you the shortest path because it take account into Heuristic cost and also actual cost. And it also look ahead uh, at the node before it decided to explore the node uh, further uh, below it. 
So uh, macam ni cara dan kaedah untuk calculate A star. So daripada sini kita akan dapat 3 begini. So uh, drawing the tree is optional. Sebenarnya kamu tak perlu pun draw tree. Contoh yang saya buat tadi. Saya tak draw pun tree. But you still can get the answer. Answer A, B, D because you start from A and then you go to B. And then you go to D because D are selected. Dia akan select setiap level, select yang paling rendah. So the lowest cost. Right, the lowest cost. So A, B, D. So if you look here visually, the cost come from here to here and to here. So the lowest cost. A, B and D. Almost always uh, the lowest cost. So, uh, is the pass admissible? So, it is, admi it is admissible. Of course, it is admissible because it can uh, give you the lowest cost. So, the question is that it is, is it admissible? Okay, yes. So, it is, uh, more, uh, it, uh, is it informed? Okay, yes, because... The cost is always uh, lower, okay? The cost is always lower. So, is it uh, monotonic? Okay. Okay, this one we will answer later in another example. Okay. There are other example of A star. Contoh macam ni. Okay, kaedah A star yang ada semut. Okay, semut berjalan uh, from one step to another step. And further, okay, this one is how you draw it. And furthermore, heuristic in uh, 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 board, okay? Uh, player board, uh, just like this, okay? Like this one, okay? Kebaikan uh, soalan final examination, dia akan bagi soalan begini. Dia akan bagi puzzle problem. So, puzzle problem nanti saya akan cover dalam episod seterusnya. Okay, because kalau nak cover sini, dia terlalu banyak. Jadi, saya uh, bagi dulu peluang bagi kamu untuk study. And then try, and then you can further try answer this question. So, this one from one state to another state. So, this is sebenarnya basic uh, uh, puzzle problem lah. Okay. Yang blank tu sebenarnya yang benda yang tak ada tile. So, bila kita tolak ni, tile uh, yang blank ni seolah-olah naik ke atas lah. Uh, bila kita tolak lagi, kita slide. Dia akan pergi ke kiri dan ke kanan. Sama juga puzzle problem kat sini lah. Tolak, tolak, tolak. So, In this uh, example problem for A star, you have three choice or three state. Nampak bawah dia pun ada three state. Either you move seven, you move uh, six or you move five. So if you decide to move seven uh, over here, okay, kita tolak seven, blank ni akan pergi ke kiri. So tolak seven, dia, dia akan jadi begini. Tolak enam ke bawah, dia akan jadi begini. Tolak lima, dia akan jadi begini. So, this is also can be solved by Insta algorithm. This is a game. Okay, just like game. Just like your rubric uh, cube game. Where the computer can always find the most optimum solution based on Insta algorithm. So, uh, for the basic one, uh, you should be able to do the exercise. So, consider try to do the exercise. Try to find the Insta algorithm. And then you can ask me on the WhatsApp if you want me to check for your answer. If you have further question or of not understanding the ISTA algorithm, you can also ask me. So you can try to do the question uh, on this page. Right? Uh, okay. Try to perform breast first search. Okay, depth first search. And then hill climbing. I will not be covering hill climbing. Okay, try to perform best first search. And also... Insta over here. So, kalau tak faham apa-apa, boleh tanya saya dalam WhatsApp. You can ask me in the WhatsApp. So, I will not be able to entertain uh, everybody in this video sebab kita kena interact, uh, interactive. So, to make it interactive, you have to ask me in the WhatsApp or in the chat channel. And then, in order to uh, ask me in the chat channel, you have to try to answer the question. Because uh, in this subject, you cannot just Purely read uh, on the book. You have to do your exercise 
follow the video and emulate the exercise. So, uh, that's all for today. We'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye.